And welcome back, folks, to more Detective Pikachu. Last time we played, we were looking for Tim's father. And the clues led us to this abandoned uh, amusement park. Unfortunately, we don't have the clues necessary to find our father. And that's what we're going to try to do today. Now the Volt Mites or whatever the little yellow things are, they stole pieces of the uh, Ferris wheel and we need to get them back. Jol -jol Joltix or what they called, it ran away. Now I don't want to do the Pikachu voice because my throat hurts. We'll see maybe later on. Sheesh, what a troublesome bunch. Let's check the area. Hey there, Barb. How was the stream, by the way? No! Loudred. About the location of Joltik. You know where they went. They have some part the some parts that we need to save Buneri. You saw one around here? We'll have a look. Thanks for the info. We need to find it before it escapes to the main plaza. Okay. So they're probably hidden around here, like in the trash or whatever. In the cannon. Loud! The Joltic inside. Good eye. Hey Tim. Hey, good eye, Tim. Hey, Joltik, could you come out here for a second? What do you mean my voice is too quiet? You show me, you'll show me an example? Wait, what are you trying to... Oh. Hey there, sugar. Jolt. The Joltik came flying out. Wow, I didn't know voices could have that much force. I... I'm craving sour cream and onion chips. At this hour? Jolt, jolt. Jolt. Yeah, sorry to surprise you, but we really needed to talk to you. Can you give us that part back? We need we needed to rescue Buneri. Jolt. Yeah, that's the one. Thanks a lot. Wire part two. Jolt, jolt. At first, it apparently thought this was a great place with lots of electricity to absorb. Jolt. Once the park closed down, it finally could absorb electricity without being chased away. But now there's less electricity coming here, so it's disappointed about that. I guess this Ferris wheel is the only thing that has any power coming to it, huh? Jolt. It says one of them ran down below. We better go fight it. There's one here. Jolt, jolt. Jolt. Hey, can you give a give back that thing in your mouth? We need it to rescue Buneri. To Jolt. Oh, cool. Thanks. You say you accidentally accidentally chewed it off because it tasted so good. Be careful in the future, all right? Hey, I'm chewing here. Have you seen the movie? I have not. It's an electric panel. I thought it would be, it would be Joltik in there, but nope. What's the helmet doing here? I guess someone must have left it behind. It looks too new for that. Maybe one of the Pokemon here found it and brought it over. Movie night idea? Yeah, maybe if we finish the game, we'll uh, we'll go watch the movie. Nah, that's not true. We're not going to do that. Jolt, you only moved here recently, huh? What's that? You were chased away by people? Well, yeah, you guys are absorbing all the power. You guys absorbing all the power could cause some trouble. They only came here after the park closed. They probably don't know about the accident. Joel Jolt. 
says one of its buddies ran to the other side. Jolt! Well, huh, you say it's a weird one. Maybe it's hiding in an unusual place. How come Pikachu can talk? Because he smokes three packs a day. Gives him the gruff voice. See? Again with that dream. Why does it reoccur? Maybe it's some memory from my past. Uh, I wish I knew why. That's right, Dim. Oh, there it is. Seems it's gotten itself tangled up in the wiring and can't move. Hold on a sec. I'll get you out of there. Jolt. Hey, no problem. Just stay out of trouble from now on. Jolt. Oh, meals are usually pretty skimpy. So the lightning strike was great. I swear, Vunari is trapped, but all you're thinking about is food. Yeah, it seems like Heliosic. Heliolisk has its work cut out for it. Joel Jolt. Your buddy probably ran somewhere. It won't get rained on, huh? Could be underneath something. Looks like a mark left by a Pokemon. This area feels different than the main plaza. I wonder why. Oh. Where are these gashes from? I know Charizard went on a rampage in the main square. But why are there marks here? Interesting. What could it all mean? Little Lisk. It was too busy keeping an eye on Buneri and hasn't noticed anything else, apparently. Gotta catch the Joltik. What's wrong? How come you're looking at me like that? Huh? <laughs> Get off of me, Joltik! You're not getting any electricity out of me! He's a dud. Jolt. Hey, when did you get there? Get off of me! You have a part for the electric board, don't you? Can we have it? Jolt. Thief, look who's talking. We can't move the Ferris wheel without the part you have. No, it gave it to us. Seems like they don't mean any harm. Got the four parts. Let's go to the control room. Hey, tip. <gasps> now, let's connect the wire so that Heliolisk can send a current to the Ferris wheel. Finally, a puzzle. This will be our greatest challenge yet. Did it. Yes, so that should move the Ferris wheel. Now, let's go rescue Buneri. Buneri? It was Buneri. Heliolisk, we're counting on you. Helia! Helia! <sighs> it's moving. All right, it worked. Yeah. Hmm? Oh no, why did it stop? It looks like it's completely fried. What should we do, Pikachu? Baneer is still... <sighs> we gotta figure out how to get up there. We could use the cannon. And Loudred. All we need is some kind of ammo. Oh! A bolt of brilliance! Huh? What do you think you're doing? That's my line. You have a good idea? Yes, hear me out. 
Are you still in the show, Tim? What are you doing? Seriously? Shooting me out of a cannon is what you call a brilliant idea? <laughs> mm, you look good. That's not the point. <sighs> How in the world did I let him talk me into this? All right, are you ready? Time for a Tim, concussion. Loudred, shout as loud as you can at my signal. Blow! So what, what's the plan here? Up, up, a little farther. No, too far. Yes, yes, that's good. No! No! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Pikachu! Yeah, I'm safe. Don't worry. With that upper body strength. Well, that was fun. Baneri, are you alright? It's floofy. Good. Now, climb onto my back and hold on tight. Yo, Tim, here we go. You just get ready to catch. <laughs> Good catch. I knew I could count on you, Tim. Love me that much. It's a locket. Hey, that's my mom. Your mother? Then this must be you. Your yeah, mother. That that's big. quite a broad. But why did Boneri have this? Mommy? Ha Harry's locket. Mommy. Right, Boneri. Don't mention it. More importantly, we need to ask you a few things. Yeah, why did you have my dad's locket with you, Bunary? How did you come across this bun? Oh, the person who was with Pikachu gave it to you, huh? No doubt about it then. This is Harry's locket. Bun? Oh, Harry's this guy's dad. He's gone missing, so we're trying to find him. Bun. Oh. You got a good eye. I'm the Pikachu he was with. Oh, I should take the locket? Thanks. I'll be sure Harry gets it back. What about Harry? Is there anything you remember? Bun. So me and Harry came here a little while ago. Asked you about the accident then, huh? Bun. But then we were attacked by another person who was with a Skorupi? Skorupi? What the hell is that? Another person with a Skorupi. So then, what did you do? Bun. I fought the Skorupi while Harry made sure Buneri got away, apparently. Bun. So Harry gave Buneri the locket before helping her escape to keep it until either Harry or I came back to get it. And then Harry and I headed back towards the main plaza, and then that's the last she saw of either of us until today. About the one who attacked Harry. What was this person like? Bun. Doesn't seem like it knows much. Apparently this person left the area to chase after me and Harry, and that was that. Bun. You're worried about Harry now. I appreciate the thought, but don't worry. He's got to be fine, no matter who was after him. He's Tim's dad, after all. Bun. Yeah, it's just as you think. Charizard is innocent. He was forced into a rage by a chemical. Bun, don't you worry. 
We'll solve the case and Charizard will come back safe and sound. We have a lot of new info. I'd call this a worthwhile trip. Basically, yeah. We got the locket. So my dad came here to investigate the case after all. And he was attacked by someone who was with a Skroopy. That must have been when he had his accident. He was trying to escape by car, but got cornered and drove off a cliff. Exactly. Whoever did that is gonna pay. Yeah, let's get to the bottom of this, of this whole R business and catch the culprit. I know the two of us can do it. We should head home for today, though. Let's get back to the car. That doesn't absolve him. I mean, if he was attacked with a chemical against his will, I, it kind of does. Like, if he took the chemical, then you're like, oh, well, you know, you knew the risks. But he didn't. Cause, um... It was used upon him. We're heading home. Oh, are we gonna get attacked by Skaroopy? It seems Pikachu has indeed lost his memory. <gasps> it's me too. I know that guy. He nonetheless appears to be keeping his promise to me. We visited Mr. Baker's detective agency to report on the results of our investigation. Maybe Mr. Baker had gotten in touch with him. Blah, well, blah, blah. One thing we know for sure is the locket belongs to Harry. So Harry must have been investigating the accident at Fine Park. Yeah. Maybe my dad saw a connection between the accident and these Pokemon cases. Hey, thanks for that. The right? accident happened over a year ago. Do we know if R was in use back then, Holiday? I suppose it could have been. So maybe the Pokemon went berserk? Because someone gave them R? Could that really be a possibility? We'll check it out tomorrow. We're going to GNN to see the footage. All right. I'll look into the case again. Once I get back to the station. Great. Thank you. You'll have to be very careful, Tim. Fine Park is very close to where Harry had his accident, remember? I will, sir. We'll be sure to watch our Thank backs. you, Jay Leno. And hopefully that video will shed some light on who's responsible. Shadow knows how to pick his games. Yeah, he sure does. Yes. I had a hunch there was more to these Pokemon related incidents than meets the eye. But to think I could have started over a year ago. I know this may be a good starting point to unravel this whole mystery. If R is truly the cause of all the Pokemon going berserk, it would mean that the police investigation was completely off target this whole time. Why were all the incidents considered accidents until now? We checked the Pokemon that became violent, but we couldn't find anything unusual. So the culprit used that to their advantage and has been do has been doing as they please. R must not leave any traces after it's been used then. Yes, this substance is a nightmare for anyone trying to conduct an investigation. It may not be the cause of all the Pokemon incidents, but I bet it was involved in most. What about GNN? At the time of the accident in Fine Park, I did my own share of investigation, but you may be able to find something I overlooked. Yes, we'll go over the video of the accident, keeping in mind R may have been involved. You be careful out there. Yes. I was getting worried about you. Glad you made it back safely. Sorry to worry you so much. I didn't expect R to be involved. How much did Harry really know? So far, the only evidence of R in my father's files that I found was a picture of a vial of R. I see. The culprit is no doubt being very cautious too. Finding clues won't be easy. It doesn't matter. 
We'll get to the bottom of the whole R mystery sooner or later. It's a very popular TV studio these days. It actually wasn't doing so well even a few years ago, but it's made quite a comeback. A TV station with momentum, huh? You said it. It's only a local studio, but they make some pretty good shows. I don't think they aired any shows in the area that you come from there, Tim. No, they didn't. Sounds like Amelia and Mako work in a pretty amazing place. What's up? It must have been rough investigating in all that rain. Are you all right? What? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Mostly thanks to Tim. I thought it was just some accident. It never even occurred to me that R might have been involved. Who would do such a thing? It seems like they were causing incidents like this while making Pokemon take the blame. We can't let them get away with that. If you need any help with the investigation, tell me. They've gotten the scoop on a lot of different incidents, including ones involving Pokemon. I'd say they're focusing on strengthening their news and other info programs. They must get a lot of good information pretty quickly. Is it their interview skills? All right. I'm going to put it out there. What? Someone involved with CNN and uh, CNN, GNN is causing the incidents because the station was failing. What? And they needed news to happen to get that popularity back. Flitch. Because I thought at first it was our, it was Jay Leno. But Jay Leno doesn't have any motive. Except that it would give him more work to do, but he doesn't seem like he's, he seems to have a pretty good office. So I don't think he needs more work. So it was really GNN. Okay. Dad gave this locket to Bunieri. That means it was important. And he was being targeted by someone with a Skorupi. Pikachu. That's who's responsible for my dad's disappearance. But who'd do such Tim, a- Tim, you need to calm down for now. We won't find any answers tonight. Lay off the but coffee, still, Tim. We should get more information tomorrow when we go to GNN, okay? But for now, try to put it out of your head. Yeah. I guess you're right. You should get some sleep. A good detective also needs his rest, you know. I'll try to. Good night, Pikachu. I thought it was a map. A folded up map. Chapter 6, GNN. The next day, we headed to GNN at the time that we agreed upon. Can we officially declare BG2 dead? It is not dead. We're going to have it after uh, the bagel thon. So this is GNN. It's a big building. Detective Pikachu, Tim. why why are we not having Baldur's Gate 2? What up, Pikachu? I hope you didn't stay awake last night. Are you okay? Our goal today is... Don't worry, I know. Why did we come to GNN? To become a star! To see the video. That's right, GNN has a video that captured the incident at Fine Park. We need to watch it and see what we can find or find any clues about R. Yeah, let's go to the reception desk and see if they can call Amelia for us. Yep. Oh, we meet again. Hey, do we know this guy? Well, uh, that was quite an incident at PCL. I was worried about you, you know? I was the security guard. Thanks for everything at PCL. I should be thanking you. You're the one who solved the case, after all. Did a good job. 
I was just assigned to GNN the other day. I'm planning to stay here for a while. If there's anything I can help you with, let me know. Hey, is it all right? We go through here? Rough. A pumpkin s a spice latte? No. Pumpkin caramel latte. It's fine. Look. Thanks. Rough. It says it won't let any bi bad guys through. It's good to hear. Where are the bad guys? It was us. Now, where has Mimikyu wandered off this time? Who? Who? Mimikyu? It's one of our performer Pokemon. I took my, my eyes off it for a moment and it just wandered off somewhere. We still have time before the shoot, but I need to find it soon. GNN is a local broadcasting network, but it has a lot of popular shows. It's getting some attention from other regions now too. It's like, sounds like a TV studio with momentum. I wish I had momentum. What kind of Pokemon is Mimikyu? Well, it's a little strange. It always dresses up like Pikachu. Huh? Like Pikachu. Yes, apparently Pikachu were very popular back where it used to live. So it thought it would become popular too if it looked like one. That's a little strange, isn't it? But it's a darling at heart. I bet it will become a star someday. What show was it going to appear in? It's a show called Pokemon Superstar. Different Pokemon show off their skills and compete to see who's the most popular. Sounds like a fun show. Mimikyu must have, must have been just overjoyed to be on the show. Bet it got restless and went off to explore or something. This Mimikyu literally kills you if you look at its real body. Damn. A little rough. Yes. A little roof. How can I help you? Call Amelia. Tim, hello. You're not Amelia. Mako. Amelia. Good to see you again. I sure hope we can help you out. Thank you for having us here. Sure. No problem at all. You know, would it be all right if we stopped by the studio real quick? Mr. Clifford would like to say hi. Of course. All right, well, let's go. Hey there. Let's go. Uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. 23rd floor, right? Yeah. He said he'd be recording that music show. Okay. The entrance to the studio is next to Baco. This is the floor where we have our studio. Please be careful not to go into the dressing room. You say that, but everywhere looks the same here. I can't tell where we are. There was a map in front of the elevator. We can look at it if we get lost. We have our cast members waiting in the dressing rooms right now. Please don't go into them, okay? <laughs> Why does she say it twice? Are we... Does she think we're some kind of creep or something? Looks like there's a bunch of dressing rooms surrounding the studio in the middle. Make a sketch so we don't get lost. Well, this is the studio. Go on in and have a look around about the studio. Today, we're scheduled to shoot a music show. The, re or the rehearsal should start any minute. A music show? Studio one. Is this SNL? The Yanma cameras are very popular among our viewers. Keep up the good work, Roger. 
This show could really use your ideas. That's really nice to hear. I hope I live up to your expectations. Mr. Clifford. Ah, good to see you again. Here he is, the young man I was telling you about. Oh, Tim Goodman, the detective, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Ethan Graham. He's the president of GNN. And I've been told that you've been a really big help to my staff members here. And I assume this little guy must be your assistant. He sure looks official with that hat on. <laughs> Actually, Tim is more the assistant here. Now you tell a Pikachu. So anyway, you came here to look at the videos? That's right, the videos. I'll go get him. Be right back. Thank you. I hope it's not a problem. No, it's nothing. You've really helped us getting some of our scoops lately. It's only fair we return the favor. Absolutely. How about a tour of the studio while we wait for Mako to return? I'd love it. Thank you. Said the quiet part out loud. Exactly. Yeesh. Mako had forgotten all about the video we wanted. I didn't, I didn't realize it would take this long to see the video. I've kind of lost the excitement now. Well, it's not something we can rush. For now, I say we take Roger up on his offer. Go on a tour all for the studio. Da -da. Da -da. Let's check out the studio while we wait for Mako to get back. The Late Night Show with Detective Pikachu. Hey, you're the new guy, right? You gotten used to your job? Uh, no, I'm not- Oh, you don't have to be nervous around me. Just ignore the fact that I'm a celebrity. Um, well, I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. What? No way! You don't know the team of Max and Chathut? Well, sorry, I've never heard of you. I've never heard of you. I've never heard of you. Damn, you tell him! Chatot. There's really no need to rub it in, Chatot. Wow, that was my voice. Of course. Unbelievable. You really don't know who we are, do you? He's not as famous as he thinks he is. <laughs> yeah, that's literally me. Ah, you must know this. Our intro. Max and Chatot. It's Max and Chatot. We're the coolest. You got to admit. Literally me. That's pretty cringe. Um, I guess you haven't seen it. Admit it! Now that I see it, you know, I might have seen this act on one of those late night shopping channels. Oh, I think I saw you on a commercial. Yeah? Right, I knew it! <laughs> Here, let me give you my autograph. Uh, okay. I also do that. Give my autograph to random people. Envy of your friends. Yeah, thank you, I guess. Max's autograph. Yeah. Hey, take good care of that autograph I gave you. Hey, if you want, I can give you even more. Special deal for our new staff member. <laughs> oh, no, it's not like that. We stopped by the studio to say hi to Roger. That's all. Oh, really? <laughs> it's only the music show that made GNN famous. And the host is yours truly, Max Warhol. Huh? Is that the best you can do? Has anyone ever told you you're hard to impress? Chatot. Chatot is really good at mimicking voices. Pretty neat, hey? It's quite the talented one. And we make the best team, isn't that right, Chatot? Oh, no. Oh, come on, give me something. How about the autograph? Aha, uh -huh, you like my autograph? It's a waste of paper! Pikachu? Dude! Can't say that. That's Yanma. Do you think they're filming something? Wow. That's gotta take some skill. I remember these guys from Pokemon Coliseum. Interested in the Yanma cameras? Huh? Oh, it's Keith Norman. I know this guy. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. My name's Keith. I'm the assistant director here, but mostly I run errands. 
Nice to meet you. I'm Tim. Right, I heard about you. Well, Tim, what do you think? The Yanma can fly around and let us film any scene at any angle. This filming style is unique to our studio. Make sure you get a good shot of me. Best looking Pikachu ever. What an awesome Fart. idea. Mr. Clifford's idea. You there. <laughs> You're part of the staff here, right? Have you seen my darling Perugly? Uh, no, I haven't. Sorry. I'm afraid it's gotten lost. My poor baby. I'm so worried. Uh. Uh. Is that really all you can say? Don't stand there. Uh. Go look for it. Yes, ma'am. Right away. I don't know what it looks like. I only know Gen 1. And what about you? Why are you just standing around doing nothing? Get out of my way. Uh. That's one cranky old lady. A woman, am I right? Pikachu. Hey, Tim. I think we've covered the studio pretty well. Yeah, still, I wonder what's taking Mako so long. Who knows? Let's head back to where Roger is. Let's see now. According to the script, the first scene we need to rehearse is... Huh? Are you here on a tour? Hello, what are you doing? I'm using the script to check the steps for the rehearsal. I'm the first AD after all. AD? It's, uh, it stands for assistant director. It's my job to make sure the filming goes smoothly within the limited amount of time. Are you interested? No. No, I don't care at all. Right. Mako sure is taking her time. Sorry to have to keep you waiting here, Tim. No kidding. What in the world is taking her so long? Cool if Pikachu. Please don't worry about it, Roger. Thanks, but... Oh, I know. How would you like to experience the Yanma cameras for yourself? Huh? We can? Of course. Who could we use as a model for you? Well, if you insist, I'll be the model. Your Pikachu's really into this, isn't he, Tim? He was muttering about it until a second ago. Why don't you leave things here to me and I'll head to the sub control room. Could you show him, Amelia? Of course, Mr. Clifford. Make sure you capture my charm, Tim. Make sure you capture everything about me. Yeah, yeah, in a bit, Pikachu. Now, where are we going? Okay. here should be here what's an owl hi hero hi how are you Amelia hmm so is this young guy your boyfriend huh no it's nothing like that now we're just best friends giving him a tour of the studio oh so this is who you and Mako keep talking about nice to meet you I'm Hiro nice to meet you too Hiro's the director of Maximum Music that's true but I'd be completely lost if it wasn't for my partner here <laughs> it's really a hoot that's hoot hoot it's our timekeeper it's phenomenal at keeping track of time we couldn't run this place without it <laughs> call the watch be really smart I'm all ready to go over here. What's the hold up? Oh, I forgot. Uh, excuse me, Hero. Is Tim over there with you? Yep. Would you mind letting him take a look at the Yanma cameras? It shouldn't take too much of your time. Sure. No problem at all. Thanks, Hero. I appreciate <laughs> it. Come on, over here. Good one, Orlov. Thank you. I choo choo choose you, Amelia. Follow the instructions on the screen to control the Yanma cameras. Shoot Pikachu how you like and make a movie. Oh, we're making a movie? 
Tim, are you ready to go? You know I've been waiting for you, right? I know exactly how I'm supposed to move. You should take a look. I'm the great detective Pikachu. I'm using my brilliant mind to trail a suspect. Hm? Hup. Over there. That was a close one. Hm? What's that? Are we not controlling the camera? It's all making sense. I've got it now. Yeah! A bolt of brilliance! Mm, so smart. I'm almost jealous of my own talent. Are, are we doing a cringe compilation here? Pretty smooth moves, huh? That's what you should be filming. Start the shoot. The atmosphere of the scene can change depending on how you film it. Decide on what you want, and then tell Yanma. Uh... Oh, damn. Well, movement on Pikachu should be here. Um, shoot from above from here. Track from the left and focus. Try it. All right, let's start the shoot. I'm the great detective Pikachu. I'm using my brilliant mind to trail a suspect. Hm? Over there. That was a close one. Hm? What's that? Hup. It's all making sense. I've got it now. Yeah! A bolt of brilliance! Mm, so smart. I'm almost jealous of my own talent. Tell me, was it a good shoot? It's all right. Yes. Great. Now let's head back. I made a movie I like. Those Yanma cameras were amazing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed working with them. Well, Tim, let's head back to the studio. Hopefully Mako's back by now. Who, who's this guy? Hello, thank you for your help earlier. Oh, hmm, did he not hear me? Hey, Tim's talking to you. Huh? How about the Yanma cameras? Thanks for your help earlier. I had a lot of help. I had a lot of fun. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. You were pretty good at it, too. About the work. I'm editing the shots we took and getting them ready for the broadcast. See, I switch between the different screens just like this. Oh, the image on the monitor changed. Is it a camera at a different angle? That's right. The studio has a lot of cameras, so it's my job to find the best shots from among them. The best shots of Ogus. Do you think we'll have to do a camera trick? Probably, right? Yeah? Did you enjoy using the Yanma cameras? About Pikachu's acting. It definitely didn't seem like it was his first time. Maybe he has been making... He has the makings of a star. Yes. Aren't the Yanma cameras amazing? Your assistant is quite the actor, and your directing was spot on as well. It's almost as if you understand what your Pokemon is saying, Tim. <laughs> of course not. That would be crazy. Why introduce the camera mechanic otherwise? Padding. Nice job, Pikachu. Well, how was it? How was my acting? It was really good. Everyone was really impressed. I knew it. Man, I'm good at everything. He really is me. For real, for real. Especially being full of yourself. Oh, no. 
Seems like you there. Not her again. Did my darling Perugly come this way? Uh, no, it didn't. You haven't found it yet? No, this is all because of that absent-minded man. I should speak to his superiors. Something of the matter. Resident Graham. Graham. Well, you see, my darling Perugly has gone missing and... Oh dear, that's not good. We don't have much time before rehearsal starts. Tim, could you help us look? Of course. I guess we don't have much choice now. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing your detective skills. That's my chatted impression. Damn, he's good. Huh? What's up? I'm looking for Perugly. What did you call me? Perugly? I haven't seen it over here. Oh, that's a very unique Pikachu you have. Are you participating in the contest too? No, we're looking for a missing Pokemon. Do you think we could ask you a few questions about Perugly? Oh, you mean the one on Maximum Music? I haven't seen it today. Oh, okay. I think you'd be better off looking in other areas. Nobody came in this way. Oh, but is there something you noticed? Well, when we came into the dressing room, the door was unlocked. It was unlocked? Yes, you see. This is where the Pokemon who are going to appear on the show stay. The door is supposed to be locked when there's nobody around so the Pokemon don't run off. Do you think someone who came before you may have forgotten to lock it? Yeah, although there's no way to be sure. About Mawile. Oh, do you want to know about Mawile's special specialty? Uh, uh, no, uh. It's really good at calligraphy. It holds the paintbrush in its jaws and swings it around with all its might. The result is artwork like you've never seen before. Sounds terrifying. It's Mawile. Mao. Hey there. Winning your turn on stage? About Perugly. Ma? No, that's the thing. We haven't seen it anywhere. Did it come by this way? Ma. Nobody came, huh? Oh, well. Let us know if it comes by. There's a warning on the lid. Magnemite inside. Please don't open until filming begins. You shouldn't mess with that cage. It says on the lid that Magnemite's inside, doesn't it? Magnemite's powerful electro electromagnetic waves cause the equipment here to malfunction. So that's why it's in a cage like this. Hey, Tim. Well, hello there, handsome. Oh, wait, it's just me. Oh, Pikachu, you're so vain. What? Did you find Perugly? No, not yet. Oh, no, my darling must be so lonely. It must be just weeping for my company. You think you could tell us more about your Perugly? It might help us out. We'll find it quicker. Perugly is just as beautiful. It's just like a beautiful, fragile flower. It has had a dignity about it since the day it was born, and it's loved by everyone. Let's see, a Pokemon like flower. Well, let me write that down. Make sure. Make a note of everything I say. Like a flower. Perugly? Hmm. 
Where's that music coming from? Oh. Hmm? In here? Hmm. Let me have a peek. Oh, no! What are you doing, Pikachu? never heard such a beautiful oh song. boy it's gotta be thirsty come on what's wrong cricketune oh cricket oh so sorry didn't mean to intrude no it's all right i was just a little surprised that's all i'm sorry are you going to be part of today's show yes my name's karina N nice to meet cricket. you Attractive middle-aged musician. And this is my partner, Cricketune. Just like me, for it's real, for real. Pika, 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 Pika. <laughs> Aren't you a cute Pikachu, huh? Uh, uh, don't let him fool you. Hmm? It's a disgusting old man Pikachu. Hey, no need to be so defensive. I'm just a fan of Karina's. Let's be friends, brother. There you go again with your chit chat. Cricketoon. Oh, you've met Perugly before? That makes things easier. Did it come around here? Tune. It came by to kill time. And <laughs> it shoved you out of the way and took your spot on the sofa for a nap? It's pretty selfish. Seems Perugly will take any spot that catches its fancy, never mind if someone's already there or not. Karina's just plain gorgeous! You've got to introduce me! Cricketune. What? You can't let some random Pokemon get close to Karina? She's like a daughter to you. You're just being overprotective, Cricketune. Are you a staff member of Maximum Music? Is the rehearsal about to start? No, we're actually looking for Perugly. Mr. Graham asked for our help. Oh, I see. Perugly was around here until just a little while ago, but... You said Perugly was here earlier? Yes, it wandered around and glared at me and Cricketune and just left. About the violin. Oh, are you interested in the violin? It was a gift from my grandfather back when I was little. I guess it's safe to assume that you're a violinist then. Yes, although I'm very new to the scene. You really played a beautiful tune. I'm looking forward to the show. Oh, thank you, but it's wrong. I'm not very good at being in the spotlight. I think I'll be fine as long as I'm performing, but I can't imagine what's going, what it's going to be like speaking in front of the cameras. I'm so nervous. But you'll have cricket tune with you, right? I'm sure you'll be fine. Cricketune. It says, quite right, young man. Quite right. I was having Cricketune help me with tuning my violin. It can do that? Yes, it is very sensitive to sounds. And it can compose melodies on the spot using its arms. Wow, I'd love to see that. He, he will be performing a duet on the show. You can come and watch if you'd like. You found Perugly? Not yet, sorry. I swear, where could it have gone? This is nothing new, but I wish it would stop. It's got big purple ears, probably as big as my face, I'd say. Wow, that big? Maybe it's a big Pokemon. Yeah. Chat? Chat? We're looking for Perugly. Have you seen it anywhere? Chat? It might be in the dressing room next door. Oh, why? Chat. Apparently, it's Perugly's daily routine to go around and make sure no young Pokemon stars get too full of themselves. I wonder what Perugly's like. They say Pokemon's take after the partners, so I bet it's got a temper. I don't know. It's 
kind of suspicious if you ask me. Do you guys have anything to do with Detective Pokemon? Was there a little chat cameo I didn't know about? Is that why Shadow wanted us, wanted the, uh, the log play? Hmm? Perugly's gone missing and you're helping search for it? That's right. I'm sorry, Olga's caused so much trouble. If you need anything, just ask. Between you and me, Perugly is a pretty vain Pokemon. It cinches its waist with its tail to make itself look bigger and beefier. It's a strange habit. Well, it is a TV star. Even if it's a Pokemon, it just wants to look its best. Sounds like it's just stuck up to me. That's weird. All the static on the screens. Is everything all right? I've been seeing this weird static on the video feed from the studio. I think it's, do you think it could be the cameras? It might be. Seems like the equipment here is fine, but either way, we need to fix it before the rehearsal. Perugly VTuber avatar when? I don't think that's even possible. And uh, might get sued for copyright. Perugly, now that you mention it, I don't think I've seen it today. It's usually wandering around the dressing rooms. Hoot hoot. Is it so unusual that I walk using my hind legs? I'm more surprised that you stand on only one leg all the time. It never occurred to you? Well, yeah, it figures, I guess. Hoot hoot. It says Perugly is why things don't run on time around here. Hoot hoot. Hey now, calm down. Don't worry, we'll find it for you. Hoot hoot. It says Hero's dream is to make programs that everyone can watch and enjoy as a family. It says it's doing its best to help. That's good. I bet Hero's glad to have you, Hoot Hoot. Hero's dream. Only a hero can save us. Is Perugly in the cage? That's why the interference is there. Mm. Oh, it's mimic you. What are you doing here? Hey, could you get out of the way? Kiki, what's that? I'm trying to steal your chance to shine. You know this Pokemon Pikachu, Kiki. No, this is Mimikyu. It's a star Pokemon scheduled to make an appearance on the show after maximum music, apparently. I wonder what it wants with you. If we do look alike, I think it's worried that I'll steal the spotlight from it. Doesn't need to worry about that. We're not even trying to be part of the... Hey, knock it off! Kiki. Tim? Kiki. Huh? What are you doing here, Mimikyu? I thought you were told to stay in the dressing room until it was your turn to be on the show. Kiki. Hey, stop struggling. Tim, do you think you could tell your Pikachu to use its moves and to get Mimikyu to calm down? Uh, well, you see, Pikachu can't use any moves. Hey, no need to tell everybody. Really? I didn't know Pokemon like that existed. Yeah, well, never heard that before. Who needs moves when I have my amazing intellect? Well, if that's the case, I guess I can't, it can't be helped. Come on, Mimikyu, let's go back to the dressing room. If you don't behave, I'll have to ban you from GNN. Kiki. I guess the threat of a ban is enough to get it to calm down. Oh, is that how it works? Maybe I should use it on chat. I'll see you later, Tim. Hey, Tim. 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 Mimikyu, huh? It's like a little typhoon. Yeah, and it was a star Pokemon, right? We didn't get a chance to ask it. Maybe it might know something about Perugly. Good point. We should go ask it later.
Tim, could you use violence against Mimikyu? You got locked up again, thanks to us. That's because you decided to cause trouble in front of everyone. Kiki Kiki. At this rate, you lose to Magnemite. Magnemite. Kiki. You passed it in the hallway just now, huh? Is it going to be on the next show too? Could be. Kiki. Try, probably trying to get the attention of important people too. Man, you're a competitive one. Is this how all the star Pokemon are? Magnemite's out there. Who's in the cage? Magnemite's cage. Magnemite is here? Nothing to worry about, Tim. I'll still continue my work as a detective, even if I do become a star. You? A star? You'll never make it. Hey. I've been able to find a lot about Perugly. Let's take some time to think about it. In the box. Let's try and figure out where Perugly might be, based on its characteristics, of course. Uh, stealing a spot? Oh, so you think it's related. If that's the case, it could involve another Pokemon. Which Pokemon do you think it could be? Magnemite. Now, why do you think that? Magnemite's in its cage. Mimikyu passed Magnemite in the hall. Oh uh, no. Magnemite had its nest taken by Perugly and moved to a new area. So it seems Perugly chased away Magnemite and took over its home. Which means Perugly is where? <sighs> Pikachu, come on! Come on, dog! So, now we know where Magnemite's cage is. Of course, we'll find it in the dressing room. We're right next to the box. Pikachu. What? It's like we were right on the money. You found it. This is her darling Perugly? I think so. <laughs> Me first. It really is me, for real, for real. Well, we found Perugly, but why is it taking over this spot? Yeah, that means the Magnemite is. What's that? You want to fight? Pikachu, there's no time for a staring contest. I'm gonna find Keith. Hey, this isn't a staring contest. It's one big cat. Thanks for finding Perugly. I would have never thought to look in the cage. Apparently, it chased Magnemite out of it so it could take a nap in there. I see. So where's Magnemite? It may have run off. It wasn't in the dressing room. It ran off. Oh, man, that's not good. We got to find it. I'll help look. Thanks. Could you let Hero know about this? He should be in the sub-control room. I'll join you as soon as I take Perugly to Olga. Got it. We'll let him know. Hmm? Magnemite escaped somewhere in the studio. That would explain all the static footage we're receiving. We need to split up and search the studio then. Do you think you can help us, Tim? Of course. Let's go, Pikachu. Are we getting paid for this at all? Just one moment. The studio is a big place. Without a plan, we could be searching all day. What do you want to do? Let's get the Yanma to help us. If a camera gets close to Magnemite, it'll start showing interference on the screen. Oh, I see. 
Do you think we could use the Yanma cameras? It might help us find where the Magnemite is hiding. Of course, I'll leave it to you, Tim. Can you hear me, Yanma? Yan Yan. I want you to film around the studio as I tell you to. Yan Yan. All right, there's our footage. The area with the most interference is backstage. Come on, let's go say hi to Magnemite. Oh, Magnemite, there you are. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, come here. Found it. There it is, just as we suspected. Yep. Why does he not Can say mag? Start filming now. Why are you causing everyone so much trouble? You say it's Perugly's fault? Well, I guess that's only fair. It did steal your place after all. It probably takes after that Olga woman. What an obnoxious duo. <laughs> Alright, so for this scene, we want you to go... Hey, as long as I'm getting paid. Since you found Magnemite, all the cameras should work just fine. Let's go to the studio. Yeah, I don't want to miss Car Karina's big moment. Should head back to the dressing room, Magnemite. A nuisance of a Pokemon case was closed, and the rehearsal began. Wow, that's a rowdy audience. Except there is no audience. What? I guess that's the magic of television, right? Television's fake! We're starting. Hi, everyone, and good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Maximum Music. As always, I'm your host, Max, and... Max! <laughs> oh, you. That's not right. This is Chatot. So, today Hold we on. have. Uh, we'll introduce the guests tonight. Thank you very much. I'm Olga Ellison, and this is. <coughs> my darling Perugly. <coughs> oh, Chatot! Our show's <coughs> being taken over again! Wonderful work, Perugly, dear. <coughs> well, shall we get the show going? So, coming up next. A very special guest. A violinist you all know and love. Here she comes now. Miss Karina Mitchell. What are you doing? Clap harder. Come on, Chad, clap. What are you doing? Good evening. Great. And cut. <laughs> so, Karina, smile a little more. Don't forget that, okay? He's right, you know. You've got to be more confident, otherwise nobody will care. Now, now. Ah, she obviously doesn't get it. It's her modesty and humility that add to Karina's charm. It seems like a lot of work to be on TV. Ah. Sub control room. Did you read me? Can you do a check on the last bit? You got it. Hi, hero. Oh, hey there, Tim. Sorry, do you think you could wait until later? I got my hands full with all these checks. Oh, of course. Being a director seems like a lot of work. Maybe we should go talk to the other cast members of the show. Okay. And here I thought he was all work and no play, but he seems like he knows how to cut loose. Cricketoon. A true musician entertains his audience no matter what. It's true. Well, you certainly talk big. About the rehearsal. Cricketoon. So this is the first time you've been surrounded by so many cameras? Yeah, I imagine it's pretty different from performing on stage. Yes. You were amazing, Carla. I'm not giving you any personal space. Oh, Tim, I'm sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Please don't be. Just do the same thing next time. Thank you. About Karina's appearance on stage. How am I supposed to smile naturally? I hope I don't mess up on the real shoot. I'm sure you'll loosen up as you do the rehearsals. Yeah, I want to see Karina's natural expressions. Just as I told you. Great work, Yanma. Yan Yan. I admit I was worrying for a while, but it looks like we'll be right on schedule. Thanks. I'm glad we were able to help. 
I only started with the Yanma recently, but we get along fine. They love to work for the TV station too, so I guess we've got the same vibe or something. It says remembering all the movements is tough, but the Yanma also get a lot of compliments, so it's worth it. Sounds like they get a good relationship. Getting paid in compliments. Wouldn't know the feeling. Finally, the rehearsal started. I'm glad Max seems like his usual self, too. Was something wrong with Max? I don't know why, but he seemed a bit down over the past few days. I was getting worried. I think something was bothering him? Could be, but he was so, but he was back to his usual self today. Maybe it worked out, worked itself out. Hmm, Max is sus? Hey, nice job out there, Olga. We still, you still got that rapier wit of yours. Hold on. What do you mean by that? Are you saying I'm not nice? Well, no, I just, hmm. Maybe you should start. You should start taking your job more seriously yourself. Come on, perugly dear. Marar. Oh, man. She's got a temper. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Huh? It's Olga's voice. His voice impressions are really amazing. It has the same tempo and everything. Right? There's no secret or trick or... I've got it. I've got it. What? Chadot is responding to Max's signals. Tim, try stomping your foot down. Like this? Get out of my way. That's what I thought. You noticed Max set his his foot down earlier too, right? That was his cue to have Chadot mimic Oldka. Oh, I get it. He sends signal like signals like that to Chadot. And have it mimic the voices he wants. Ha! Huh, guess I'm found out. You're pretty good. Is there any other signals you use? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to give them all away. Where's the fun in that? I think I'll head back to my dressing room now. I think the next rehearsal is about to start. Let's go ask Hero. How are the checks coming along, Subcontrol? They're done, no problems. Great, let's move on to the next rehearsal then. Are you ready, Tim? Yes. Great, let's get Hoot Hoot ready for the signal. Three, two, one. Hoot Hoot. have a heart made of stone yeah yeah you've shown the world that you're very sensitive so you can stop now hey tim do you think you could get your pikachu to be a little more quiet <laughs> see <laughs> and cut that was wonderful oh you were amazing karina thank you <laughs> your music is so beautiful <laughs> it really was Backstage, she's humble and modest, but when she performs, she's proud and confident. That duality makes me breathless. Not the performance? Hear me now. I declare that one day she and I will perform on stage together. I can't believe this. What's next? That was beautiful, Karina. Thank you very much. Let's do the same thing for the real deal. All right, it's about time we call on Olga and Max. 
Oh, I can go let them know we're ready. Great, thanks. What should I do in the meantime? All right, could you go put your violin backstage for now? Of course. Oh, the violin's gonna get stolen. But by whom? Whomst? Did you ever learn any musical instrument? I uh, actually know how to use the tambourine. I'm very adept at it too. That was actually a lie. I don't know how to use the tambourine. I only learned uh, the acoustic guitar to impress the girls. great performance. I can't wait to see the reactions we get from our viewers. To be honest, I was worried at first, but I guess I don't need to be. No wonder she's the rising star among violinists. She definitely lives up to her reputation. Right, doesn't she? Ha ha ha. Why are you acting so full of yourself? So what's the next scene you're going to rehearse? Oh, it's the scene where the assistant Pokemon gives Karina her violin. Keith went off to fetch the Pokemon, but he hasn't come back yet. I wonder where Keith has gone to. Could could be that he was cornered by Olga again. Hero. Oh, hey, Karina. Did you put your violin back there? Yes. Thanks. Once Keith gets back, let's start our next rehearsal. Rehearsal. Hero, this is bad. The assistant Pokemon won't make it? Uh, what are you saying, Keith? Uh, so sorry. I mixed up the dates of our schedule. Oh, my head hurts. I need a Pokemon. Any Pokemon to help us out. Hey, I know. Tim, do you think Pikachu could fill in for the day? Uh-oh. Huh? My Pikachu? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Enjoy music. I think he'd be great. <laughs> All right. If you really think he could help. I can. You're really saving my life. Thank you. Mine, too. Thank you. Okay. I'll need Pikachu to push the cart with the violin. Right over there. To that spot with the mark on it. That's right. And Tim, would you mind standing over there for me? Sure. That's where Karina will receive her violin. You're a big help. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you big, right. you big creepo. Yanma, move those cameras exactly as you would for a real shoot. Yan Yan, Yan Yan. Pikachu, you ready? I've never been more ready. I've got this. <laughs> Here's the spot. So she picks it up here. Watch out! Oh no! Are you all right? Tim! Oh no! Yeah, I'm okay. But look. <gasps> My precious violin! This is bad. Last. I was standing right there, and I couldn't do anything. Oh, oh no! I'm so sorry. The Yanma have never made a mistake but like this before. Yan Yan! We need to stop shooting for now. Keith, take Karina back to her dressing room. Of course, come with me, Miss Mitchell. This way. Crickadoon. We'll take the pieces of the violin right here. Let me help pick them up. What could have gotten into the Yanma? They've never messed up their instructions like that before. What are they saying, Pikachu? They say it's not their fault. 
What do you mean? We should talk to them for a bit. Hmm. Everyone thinks the Yanma made a mistake and caused the accident. But is that really true? Let's go see what the Yanma have to say. Let's find the truth. The real truth. Hey, Anyan. Hey, you hurt? Anyan. This was a pretty heavy collision. You're still feeling dizzy. Take it easy. You told us earlier that there was no way you'd mess up your instructions, right? Yan Yan. It says that they followed their instructions to the word, and it says that if we look properly, we should be able to prove it. Let's ask the other Yanma to see if to see what it thinks too. Hey, you okay? Yeah, we're fine. Good to hear. It seems like the Yanma are unhurt, so that's a relief. The Anma were behaving a little strangely. What do you mean? Think back to when the accident happened. The Anma flew out from the left and right at the same time, right? Of course they're gonna they were gonna crash like that. Nobody on our staff would give instructions like that. Maybe the Yanma misheard? Yan Yan. Yan Yan. They say they moved exactly as the staff told them to. Really? Maybe there was a mistake in the instructions themselves then. Hey, Tim! Tim! I think we got what we can from the Yanma. Hero seems to think the accident happened because the Yanma, Yanma messed up, but the Yanma said they followed their instructions. Yeah, let's try and find out what really caused the accident. We should talk to the staff members next. Well, the Yanmar is safe, but what do we do now? Is it alright if you ask? we ask you about the accident? What caused the accident? How should I know? Yanma and I just followed the cue sheet Hero gave us. About the cue sheet. So the cue sheet, it was... has every detail of how the Yanma were supposed to move. Let's see. Shoot from above, shoot from the left, shoot from the right, and move in. Ah, see? There it is. That's what we did. We're coming back to that gameplay. That's right. Keith should have the movement plan for camera two. Did Keith mess up again? Hmm? What's up? Y'all right, hero? Not really, but still, we got. I've got to do something. Why do you think the accident happened? Well, I can think of a few reasons, like the Yanma misunderstanding the instructions or Hoot Hoot signals being delayed. The Yanma rely on Hoot Hoot signal to start filming. It could be that the connection with the sun control room got disrupted by Magnemite. Come to think of it, you were talking to the sub control room during the rehearsal too, weren't you? I didn't notice anything strange though. I can check with Hoot Hoot if you want some clarification. Any news? Are you okay, Tim? I'm fine. I'm sorry to worry you. Glad you're safe. And it looks like Pikachu wasn't hurt either. Not even a scratch. I don't know why the accident happened, but I think it's going to be hard to keep filming. I wonder what Hero will do. You gotta be cursed, Tim. What? Why me? Actually, I didn't see the accident itself. I was looking at the script when it happened. The script. It's the plan for how the show should prog progress. Do you want to see? I made the script, see? It's written to follow the flow of the show itself. You're right, it is. You think this is related to the accident? Could be. It doesn't have much on the Yanma cameras on it, though. Oh. 
great. We talked to everyone here. We should check outside the studio. There's no one here. Nothing here. Was this the dressing room for the Pokemon? I got lost because of all the hallways look exactly the same. Are all the Pokemon here participating in the contest? I think so, yes. A lot of different Pokemon come to this TV station, don't they? What the hell is that? Is that an Ekans? I know that Pokemon. Yeah, this is the dressing room for Pokemon. You should wait here until it's your turn. And saying this room was is warmer than where it was earlier and much more comfortable. I wonder if they adjust the temperature to make the Pokemon here feel at home. Someone came by that you didn't recognize. Oh yeah, they're going to appear in the same contest as you. You're curious about its special talent? Well, why don't you go ask it? Are you still upset that I got chosen as the assistant over you? Kiki, don't get too full of myself. Uh, sure, whatever you say. More importantly, there's something we need to ask you. Do you know anything about the accident that just happened? Kiki, it was just, it was going around the dressing rooms while avoiding the staff here, so it doesn't know what was going on in the studio. Why was it doing that? Kiki, doing a bit of self-promotion. You're definitely persistent, I'll give you that. What's self-promotion though? Does anyone know what that means? What? I'd like to ask you a few questions about the accident that destroyed the violin. Is that okay? Well, what do you want to know? What caused the accident? How should I know? I can't believe the violin was destroyed like that. The violin was created by a very famous craftsman. Just that one violin was worth $2 million. The two million dollars that's enough money to last a lifetime i was supposed to get that violin how could this have happened uh. now you got a moment we got a few questions morale it says it was here the whole time so it doesn't know anything about the accident apparently olga has been acting strange though olga in what way Seems like Olga desperately wanted the Karina's violin, so she's depressed now. She doesn't even notice when Perugly tries to get her attention. What? Hmm. So who did it? It's a who done it. Who do you think it is, chat? Max could be Max could be this guy sweaty boy what's up how's Karina doing she's very upset she said she needed to be alone for a while don't blame her she clearly was very attached to the violin it was destroyed right in front of her you have any idea why an accident like that could have happened Keith no I guess I could have misread the cue sheet for the Yanma we check the cue sheet here it is let's see camera two is supposed to shoot from above shoot from the right move away and follow yeah the director gives us gives those of us in charge of the yanma cameras of the cue sheet a few days before the shoot we tell the yanma how to move the cameras based on that but double checked it and i'm positive i got the instructions right is there any chance the director gave you the wrong instructions? Nothing like that's ever happened before. 
The original cue sheet could be at the sub control room. Yes. This is the biggest scandal in the history of GNN. How exactly do you plan to take responsibility for this, Roger? Mr. President. Please calm down, Mr. Graham. Mm, now he shows his true colors. I don't even want to think about the accident. Who knows how much money we'll have to pay. All that for a silly violin. But sir, the responsibility for the damage suffered by Miss Mitchell lies with us. That's nothing to do with me. It's all because of the staff here are incompetent. I told you to get rid of any useless staff members, but you had to take your time with it. I don't mean to argue, Mr. President, but I have no place for employees that would cause harm to the station. Mr. Graham seems like a completely different person now. CEOs, am I right? Right. Hey there, Tim. Are you all right? Yeah, we're fine. Sorry you had to get caught up in all of this. I'm glad you're not hurt anyways. We still haven't figured out the cause of the accident yet. Regardless of the cause, we still have to take this accident very seriously. Still, I'm glad nobody was hurt. Hmm? What happened during the rehearsal? I saw what happened during the rehearsal from here. What a mess this has become. Yes, thankfully we weren't hurt, but Karina's violin was completely ruined. I know. The responsibility for the accident lies with us. I really hope there's something we can do for Miss Mitchell. Is there something you noticed about the accident? You know, it did seem like there was something odd about Yanma's movement. What do you mean? I was checking the footage using this cue sheet, but there was something odd I couldn't put my finger on. I see that. I see that the cue sheet you have has the movements of both the Yanma cameras on it. Yes. This is the original script the hero wrote. We give the copies out to the staff in charge and then keep it under tight security. Okay, chat, remember this. Shoot from above, move away, shoot from the right and move in. Shoot from above, shoot from the right, move it, move away and follow. That's right, the Yanma should have moved exactly according to this plan. It says the Yanma were so dedicated to their work that it's unthinkable that they would make a mistake. It sounds like who, who trusts them? Hero, he looks like he was in a state of shock, but he's still saying he wanted to do something to help. Your partner is quite the, the dependable guy, isn't he? You're the one who signaled to the Yanma when they needed to start moving, right? So the Yanma started to move as soon as you signaled them, same as always. Hero said there might be some kind of communication trouble, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Hey, Tim. Tim! Hey, Tim! Tim! I knew it! Something's bugging me. Why are you staring at my case list like that, Pikachu? I've got a feeling that the key to solving this mystery about the accident is sitting in, in the evidence we've already gathered. Okay. Everyone is thinking that the Yanma made a mistake. The Yanma say they did what the instructions told them to do. So what caused them to crash into each other? Society. Society's the issue. Eh? Mm, I don't think that's right. You really should check in your case list one more time. That's right. 
You really should check in your case list one more time. Well, why don't you tell me what to do there, Pikachu? You clearly know. Okay, so master is above, move away, shoot from the right, move in. Oh, camera one. That's not good. Shoot from above, shoot from the left. That's not it. Shoot from above, move away, shoot from the right, and move in. Above, shoot from the right, move away, and follow. So it's not cute. It's AD. Everyone is thinking that the Yanma made a mistake. The Yanma say they did what the instructions told them to do. So what caused them to crash into each other? That's right. It seems that someone tampered with Yanma's plan in order to cause the collision. The question is, how did the staff not notice something like that? Why would one Yanma have two movement plans? I don't think this was an accident at all. In fact, I think this is a case for us to solve. What? That's crazy. <coughs> The Anma ran into each other because they were given fake instructions, but why did the culprit do that? Maybe the culprit had some kind of grudge against Karina. They tried to destroy the violin as revenge or something. Revenge, huh? If it wasn't for Keith's mistake, Karina would have been the one caught in the accident instead of me. It could even be someone targeting her directly. Well, let's go talk to Karina. Yeah. Seems like someone made a fake movement plan to cause the accident. But why? I can't imagine Karina would have enemies, but... But let's see what she has to say. You don't know, maybe Karina has a palace. You know? Maybe she likes to step on people. I don't know. What's up? Karina, please listen calmly. Tim, what's going on? We found out that the accident earlier was actually deliberately caused by someone. Wait, but how? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Is what you said true? Please tell me everything. Of course. Someone has given a fake instruction to the Yanma. Is that what caused the accident? That's right. But who would do such a thing and why? It's possible that the culprit had some garage against you and destroyed the violin as payback. No. It was Max. But it was not against her but against the violin because Olga was supposed to get the violin. And it was, and he destroyed that violin because he hated her because she did something to him. Stole his show, maybe? Hmm? Was that a bolt of brilliance right there? Could you tell us a bit more about your violin? Of course, my grandfather made it for me before he passed away. It's the only one of its kind. Even now, when I get discouraged, I remember the message he left for me on the violin. A message. There was a message on the violin I never noticed. Or... Let's rewind. That was a fake violin. And someone's trying to, to steal the, the real one. And we'll, we'll see the parts of the violin that was broken and they won't, there will not be any message. And thus, 
It's actually thievery. That's probably Olga again. Olga or Tim. Uh, not Tim, uh, Max. Maybe Max and Olga together. Because Max was feeling down and depressed. Probably has money problems. Gambling problems. Hmm. Working with Olga. To sell that violin for money. To fuel his addiction. Brilliant. Oh, so you can't see it from the outside. No, you can't. Actually, I think the only ones who've seen it are me and Cricketune. Since we used to play in my grandfather's workshop. Cricket. You'll help us find the culprit. Thanks. We could use your help. Cricketune, don't worry. We don't know who did this or why, but don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of things. Apparently, Cricketoon was present when Karina saw the message, too. Cricketoon says Karina read the message to it. It said, To my darling Karina, even when I'm no longer with you, I will always love you and your music. Oh. Oh, Grandpa. Hey, Tim. Tim. The message on the violin, huh? Something on your mind? I helped Cricketoon pick up the pieces of the violin after the accident, but I don't think I saw a message anywhere on the back plate. Could be just didn't notice it. If it bothers you, you could double check. Yeah. Never would have thought. Karina has nothing to tell us. Bro, she told us everything. What are you talking about? Oh. Don't see any message. So this means this violin is a fake. The culprit's goal was to steal Karina's violin. The culprit must have tampered with the Yanma Q sheet so that the accident would hide the fact that the violin has been swapped. That's right. He almost got away with it too. We'll catch this culprit no matter what. Thank goodness the violins have been swapped. That means that the real one is still safe. That's the one good thing about all of this. First things first, we should tell Karina and Cricketoon about the swap violin. They may be able to help us narrow down who the culprit might be. Where's the real violin? The culprit still has it, but please keep it a secret. We don't want the culprit to get nervous and hide it away. I, ne I never noticed that my violin had been swapped with a fake. But I think the, the one I used for my performance was the real one. I could tell from the tone. Cricketune. Yeah, Cricketune says so too. Cricket. Oh, something fell off to you too? Cricketune. The material seemed softer than normal, I see. It must have been difficult for the culprit to get the exact same ma materials to use. Soft boards. Don't forget, I'm a Pikachu too, you know. Watch. Thunderbolt! So let's just ignore that. Hey, Tim. The testimonies we got from the two of them are shedding light on the crime. Let's organize what we know. To get started, let's figure out exactly when the violin was swapped. Open up your case notes. Now, uh, let's try and figure out when the violin could have been swapped out. First, when do we know for sure that the violin was already, uh, a fake? 
Preparations. Huh? No, that's not right. Pikachu? True. By the time I had delivered the violin, it had already been swapped out with the fake one. Now we know when the violin was swapped out with the fake one. But we still need to figure out when was the last time the real violin was seen. Things of performance. Now why do you think that? Because of the boards. So, Karina was using the real violin during her performance. She and Cricketune both confirmed it to be true. And that means the culprit swapped out the violin after Karina finished her performance, but before I moved it. During the preparations! Now we know when the violin was swapped. Yeah, the culprit aimed for the exact moment. Karina would not be around her violin. Judging from that and the tampering with the cue sheet, the culprit must have been very familiar with the show. So the culprit is someone who works here. That's what we need to find out. What about the alibis? Now we know almost the exact moment when the violin was swapped. The culprit has to be someone involved with the show. Let's find out about the alibis of everyone involved between the time Karina finished playing and I brought out the violin. Was it you? You? Doesn't this make Pikachu the prime suspect? No, uh, P Pikachu is, uh, he's a detective. Detectives don't do crimes. What was I doing after the violin recital? What are you asking? I'm trying to find out more about the accident. Is all right if you tell us? Sure. I was in the studio during the rehearsal. Can't leave the Yanma all by themselves after all. Have you ever seen a policeman do crime there, Freeport? I don't think so. You're investigating that accident. It was a mistake by the Yanma, right? No, it seems like the accident was deliberately caused by for some purpose. Did you help us finding uh, in finding the truth? After Karina's recital, I was checking the footage in the studio together with Hiro. Ah. Do you think you'll be able to get back to filming? I'd say the odds are 50-50. I've already put in a request for a new violin. I feel bad for Karina, but you'll have to use the new one. I was in the studio ever since Karina finished her performance. I was making sure the staff knew the plan for the show. Checking the footage and so on. We were in the studio then too. I didn't see anyone leave or enter until Amelia and Keith came back. Seems like Hero and the staff here have a good alibi. Mm. Now that I think about it, this person couldn't be the culprit. You safe. What's up? Are you investigating the accident? Don't overdo it. Thanks. Where were you during the rehearsal, Keith? I don't think I saw you until right before the accident happened. I was down at the lower floor to call the assistant Pokemon as soon as we found Perugly. What happened after that? Well, it didn't show up, even when the scheduled time came, so I called the office to check. Turns out I mixed, I mixed up the dates and had scheduled it for the wrong time, so I ran back to the studio to let Hero know. That was all. That's what all the ruckus was about. Did you run into anybody on your way back to the studio? Yeah, as I recall, I ran into Amelia. She just finished calling Max and Olga. Tim, be sure you remember what people told us. I 
Are you the one in charge of scheduling and managing the assistant Pokemon? That's right. I'm really sorry that my mistake put you in a put you both in a dangerous spot. Yeah, next time. Pay closer attention. Don't worry about it. Neither of us were hurt. Well, yes, but What's the matter? Are you still looking into the accident, Tim? Huh? Uh uh. Don't mention the swap violin until we're ready to catch the culprit. Right, uh, um, yeah. Amelia's alibi. Oh no, are we suspecting our best friend? You mean after Karina played? I was checking the dressing rooms to call on Max and Olga. But you came back to the studio alone, didn't you? Weren't you able to find them? No, no, not exactly. They both seemed like they were very busy. I just told them that I needed to go through the door. What I needed through the door. Oh, I see. And did you meet anyone else? Oh, well, I remember I ran to Keith near the studio. Keith gathering testimony. Don't okay, you, Pikachu? What's the matter? I ran into Keith on my way back to the studio. He was standing near the entrance, but he looked very depressed. He was going to report to Hero that he messed up the assistant Pokemon schedule. And he came to the studio right after, right? That's right. Nothing goes according to script, does it? After Karina's performance, I was with Hero checking the rest of the plan for today. He seemed very busy. All right, so... She, she never actually saw Olga. So the parrot mimicked Olga's voice. And that allows Olga to swap the violin. See, I was right. I was right. I didn't think Hero and the staff in the studio could have stolen the violin. In that case, maybe we should tell Hero what really happened. If the culprit is related to the show somehow, maybe he'll know something. Better check with Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu already knows though. What's up? Ah. The violin was swapped out. And you say there's someone here that did it? Yes. I can't imagine. No, actually, could it be that he you know th do you know something? Well, it's just a rumor, but I've heard Max has a lot of debt. <laughs> yes. 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 And the value of uh, the violin was a very valuable one. So he may have stolen it so he could sell it. it. Sounds like Max could have a motive to steal the violin. Can't wait for Lucky to be wrong. Impossible. But the thing is, it's not only Max. He's working with Olga. It's only 30 seconds left and we better move. Tim! Tim! No! Let's see you tomorrow. I guess, I guess we have to end the stream. What do you want? You again? What do you want now? Uh, come on, you're a detective. Don't let her intimidate you. Go on, ask what you what you need. Where were you after we finished the first rehearsal? Stayed in the dressing room. I was giving Perugly a nice brushing. Did anyone stop by during that time? One of the staff members came to call on me. I answered, although I didn't open the door. I see. Someone comes all the way to get you. The least you can do is open the door for them. Although, come to think of it, something odd happened after that. Hmm. Now that I think about it, this person couldn't be the culprit. Mm, I don't know about that, Pikachu. It was a strange occurrence. Someone came and beat on the door. It looked out through the fog glass window. Didn't see anyone out there. I wonder what that was all about. Uh. Wow. 
Man, what a yawn. I want to talk to you a bit before you take a nap. Row. But what were you guys doing after we finished the rehearsal? Morow. We came back to the dressing room for a nap. We'll give you a good brushing too. So your fur is all perfect. You know, I can I can't really tell. Was it you? Well, so far it's leading to Max. What? Oh, you're still doing your investigation. Easy on playing detective, all right? Playing detective? No one's playing here. Max, you left the studio once the f once the first rehearsal was done, right? Yeah, I figured I'd go over the script one more time in my dressing room while I waited. Did anyone come by during that time? Oh yeah, a staff member came came by to call me. I was in the middle of something, so I couldn't open the door, but I said I'd be right out. Oh, so he didn't So he didn't see this person. So, let's gather information. Well, obviously the parrot is like the key component here. Oh, and you were watching TV and you said you're the best thing on the screen, eh? You've got confidence for sure. What did you and Max do once you were done with the first rehearsal? Chat. Came back to the dressing room together. I seem to recall you're saying that's what you were going to do, yeah? What's that? You were excited because Max said he was going to give you your snack early today? You weren't asking about your snack. Someone came to call you. They knocked on the door and said something, apparently. It must have been Amelia. Chat. Is Amelia a person or a Pokemon? Why do you ask that? Chat chat. Apparently a Pokemon stopped by too, in addition to the person. Chat. Doesn't know who, but apparently someone rammed into the door. Chatot says it was surprised that it actually yelled out. Bet it, that would be surprising. What did that Pokemon do then? Chat chat. It ran off making some kind of cry. Did you show us your cool mimicking skills again? Chat. Oh, you can. Chat chat. Try different signals to see what happens. Snap fingers. Nice to meet you. Hey, that's the voice of Mr. Graham. And cut! That must be Hero. What's with this self-contended look? I'm trying to act all cool, are you? Hey, go easy on me. I tried my best. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't put it past Max to do that. There's probably more cues than we can imagine. It's not doing anything. It's too subtle to use as a cue. Stomp foot. Get out of my way. That's definitely Olga, all right. Someone yelled at me like that. I definitely have a heart attack, even if it was a prank. Hey, Tim. Tim. You remember the strange occurrence in Olga's dressing room? I mean, someone banged on the door. My theory is it's the same Pokemon that visited Chatot's dressing room. That would make sense. I wonder if we can find this Pokemon. It was you. That was you. Maybe it's one of the guests. Why are they glaring at each other? Let's see what they're saying. It's time to decide whose special talents are truly better. It's saying that it's 
saying being able to smell the difference of foods with your tongue is more amazing. Bzz, it's saying making laundry super clean with ultrasonic waves is way cooler. But that's like comparing leffa berries to oran berries. Still, we can't just leave them like this. What do you think we should do? Have a battle. Acknowledge each other's talent. To me, both of your talents are really impressive. Maybe you could agree that you both have some amazing skills and just make up. Anyway, you do need the makeup. You can come by and check on them later. Maybe something will have changed. A previous recording has gone over scheduled time. Maybe the Pokemon are getting irritated. I hope they can become friends be before the actual filming starts, but seeing how they are now, it may be difficult. What in the world has gotten into Ekans? It's not normally the type of big fights with other Pokemon. I wonder what set it off this time. What about Magnemite and Ekans? It's boring because they don't pay attention to you. It's like you're being left out. I don't think they mean to be rude or anything. Maybe Mawile just likes to have company. Magnemite's talents are all mundane and useless. I think I can see my mom getting excited about super clean laundry. Hey, calm, calm down. You could shut this whole place down if you get too excited. Telling things apart by smell isn't unusual or interesting at all. Really, I can't think of any other Pokemon that smells through its tongue. Sniff. Oh, uh, well, come on. You know what you, what you should do. Is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Like the studio, sub control room, uh, sub control room. Excuse me. Hey, what's wrong? Well, about the accident that just happened, it seems like there, it was deliberately caused by someone. What? But then who's the culprit? We're investigating that now. That's why we'd like to know where everyone was during the rehearsal. We were here the whole time. Yes, we were keeping an eye on the studio from here. Hmm, I think it would be difficult for the people in here in the sub control room to swap out the violin. Tim, be sure you remember what people told us. Is there something bothering you? I think I may know who tampered with the cue sheet. Tell us everything you know. I can't prove anything. I suspect Keith is the culprit. He looks after the Yanma here, and it could be easy for him to tamper with the cue sheet. But Keith seemed so proud of, of the Yanma and what they could do. Keith is a bit of a mystery. He came to GNN about six months ago on someone's recommendation, but he's never told anyone why he came here or what he was doing before. Is there a reason why he's so secretive? Yeah. I mean, I highly doubt it's them. After my performance, I went backstage to put my violin here. Hero asked you to do that, right? Did you see anyone else when you were back there? Don't remember. I'm sorry. I should have paid more attention. Don't worry about it. Yes. So the culprit is? 
Wait, what's that? All of our suspects have alibis? What? Impossible. I don't want to point any fingers, but it may have been Olga who stole my violin. Why did you say that? Olga asked me a few times before if it, if I was willing to part with my violin. Of course I said no. Of course your grandfather made it for you. That's right, but it didn't seem like Olga was ready to give up. She may have planned something like this. Well, it seems like Olga has motive anyway, but we can't just decide and she's the culprit based off that. Creaky. So everyone is sus. Well, this is a conundrum. I didn't expect everyone involved to have alibis. This can only mean one thing. The culprit. What did the culprit do? It used double team. It used hidden passageway. There was no culprit after all. Created a fake alibi. That's right. The culprit must have used some sort of trick to create a fake alibi. That being said, I don't think anyone working in the studio or sub control room had the time to do anything elaborate like that. Our suspects are the ones who were moving around on their own. That's four people. Max, Olga, Keith, and Amelia. You don't think Amelia. I know how you feel, but a detective has to keep an objective view of everything. Still, we could use some more information. Now that I think about it, Mimikyu had snuck out of the Pokemon dressing room and was round wandering around, right? Maybe if we talk to it, it would help shed some light on the situation. Well, I do believe we're going to call it there for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This double feature of Detective Pikachu. And uh, we will see you next time, which should be in two weeks, for more Detective Pikachu. So thanks for watching, everyone. And have a good night.